right up morning guys welcome it today is miserable outside it's warm ish but rainy it is starting to look like ireland it's starting to look like ireland where it's like all green is new zealand green mm -hmm. all right so anyways i got my tripod yeah anyway sophie's got her tripod that's what everybody needs to know it's the most important thing yeah I love your outfit to, though today with I'm black. I'm only wearing this because um, you guys said it was cold. Yeah, it's kind of cold. But anyways, today. Why is your dog playing with it? Oh. Molly, get it, get it. Molly, leave it. Get it, Molly. 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 <laughs> Molly's like, I will get that dog. <laughs> so there's a little bit of the of. Molly does not love <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> And that's why when Molly gets mad at Ellie, Ellie barks relentlessly at her. So there's just no love lost between the two of them. Seeing them play with the ball together though was super cute. So you guys know that yesterday I went to a uh, first aid course, super exciting. Um, and today we're gonna do a little bit of stuff with that. I'm one of those kind of people that, I'm one of those people that has to practice what I've learned to cement it into my brain. Even then it's iffy. So I got this. Bucket. So today I'm going to try and build our first aid kit. You guys know that I've been building a first aid kit. I have so many things, but I don't have any place to keep them all together. So that course inspired me to make a first aid kit, keep it all together, and I'm going to show you guys what I put in it. Also, we got the, this card that shows us the heart rate, normal heart rate, respiration, temperature, hydration, and... Uh, intestinal noises so gut sounds so it tells us what's normal and what's abnormal on here I want to I want to find a way to keep this card in our barn but today I'm going to teach the girls how to check the heart rate um, of our horses I also want to do temperature but I can't find a thermometer I have to buy that teach them how to check for hydration and also get them to listen for bowel sounds so a few things actually so we're gonna do all of those things today the problem is I do not have any room in this tack room for anything. We're still in the process of cleaning it out. Sam has like a lot to clean. I have to find a spot for all of our wraps. But did you guys know you can use these when your horse has an injury to wrap a wound? All the dogs are in here. Yeah, all the dogs are in here. We have like- the very muddy- Oh, <laughs> she's so small. I was, oh. <laughs> Ellie's like, let me take that hay out of your mouth. Look, Sophie, she's got hay in her collar. Halter. Halter. They also included in the back of this book um, a first aid kit for the barn and then a first aid kit for on the trailer and to take on the trail with you. So we need a flashlight. We need scissors. We need stretchable top bandage, vet wrap, um, wound dressing, wire cutters. That's so important. She recommends a Twitch, which I guess we should have. Shoe removal equipment, disposable diapers, duct tape, medical tape, table salt. So we have a lot of these things already. I'm just gonna put them all in here and then I'm gonna make it a priority to finish our, our kit with all these things. Like we have a thermometer, I don't know where it is. We have a stethoscope, I don't know where it is. We don't have any wound gel. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna put all of our first aid stuff in here. All right, so this is what I have issues with. I don't know how to organize it. I think I need to get some little cubby things, like little containers that I can put in here to separate everything and organize it because I have like, a lot of these, I have a lot of these little cotton pads that are non-stick. These are the non-stick ones. I have a lot of needles, which I, which you can use for like banamine. And I, I want to get a lot more of this stuff and I want to be able to keep it together. I have a ton of syringes, but I need like a container that I can put these in and separate them. so that everything, so that I can fit more into a container and that it's not all a big mess. I've got some antibiotic ointment, which would actually be a good wound gel. I have unprocessed honey, which is what we often use as a wound gel. Wow, it's finally happening. Are you holding something for Sophie? No. Oh, 
she sat there, so she had to hold it. Oh, wow, it's finally happening. The baby is shedding. We're excited because we know she has some spots underneath there. They'll be like a little bit darker than her fur. We saw them in a picture. So it's not going to be like she looks like a huge Appaloosa with big spots that just stick out. But eventually we should be able to see. Oh, her belly too. Wow. She got long hair. Yeah, she's got long hair. Look at that tail. It is so cute. She's tiny though. She is a tiny little horse. That's I'm why fine with that. I'm fine with that too. Because all we want her for is to like train her and do little tricks with her and just have fun with her. Okay. It's kind of good because she does not care about anything. Like, oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys something. She's like so calm. You guys are going to be stuck learning about first aid. So we're going to, you're going to go like an inch on either side of her spine. We've done this before. We've seen this done before. And you're going to push down and you're going to watch for any pain reaction. I don't think she's going to have Can you any. just do that with your fingers? She's you can do it with your fingers too. Yeah, I don't really do that. My horse tells me. I know your horse does tell you <laughs> that it's super interesting, super you. interesting to see. But I'm also going to show you some really fun stretches for Chino. Also, he does that whenever you go near him in the stall. Yeah, he's so sem super Unless sensitive. He's like in the crowd size. No, it's only in the stall. Oh, she's grooming. She's grooming. Sophie's <laughs> got a brand new shirt on, and this is how we treat them. <laughs> this is something I found really interesting at the course was that. Um, when we treated horses' legs for wounds, we used cottons. And when I went to the store before, I, they asked me if I wanted cottons, and I had no idea. I did not know the difference between cottons and standing wraps. So whenever Chino gets hurt, we always use standing wraps on him. I'll show you. So we have two different kinds, and this is what it looks like. It's almost the same as the cottons that we used in the course. I'm going to buy the cottons, though. It's like cotton batting, just fluffy stuff that you wrap around a wound um, for padding to protect it. Uh, we use these instead. I didn't ask her if you could use these instead. I know that you, that you can, but these are what we use. We have... We have this blue set and then we also have these ones so they're just quilted leg wraps standing wraps they're absorbent and resist wrinkling they don't fray they're they have polyester fill for breathability and you can wash them and reuse them versus like the cotton that you buy that I'll, I'll post a picture here of the cottons that they used which I loved but I think that you can use these and these are washable and you can use them again so more cost efficient anyway I never know like I lost these things for like the last six months or so just found them when we were cleaning up the barn so I am going to put them in the bottom of our first aid kit some people use these um, to wrap their horse's legs for like going in the trailer and transporting and stuff. We use them for, wow, that takes up the whole thing. We use them specifically for wounds. Look, you guys. She, maybe it's because she's wet, but she doesn't look very nearly as fluffy. All right, she's, it's because she's wet, Sophie. Because she's still fluffy. Look at all her hair. I uh, know, thank goodness it's coming off. So the other thing that was different is that they used a lot of fleece stuff and they used a lot of vet wrap, which I agree vet wrap is like so important. Can't forget the pink one, the pink is my favorite. Um, but what we've used in the past with our quilted pads are the standing wraps. So these are actually the standing wraps. So we use these instead of that wrap for like wounds that we're gonna have to be dressing all the time. Uh, we have two pairs of, two packages of those, two sets of those, we have pink ones and then we have black ones. So, so that's what we use instead of the cottons. We use washable quilted pads and then we use standing wraps to hold them on instead of that wrap. But like I said, I'm gonna store both because you never know. Yeah, she is really starting to shed, you guys. 
So in this little kit, I have like a bunch of wound compression bandages. I have alcohol wipes. I have more cotton stuff. I have saline, which I'm going to get more saline. I've got some Q-tips. I got these little pads in here. I've got scissors, uh, more pads. I've got band-aids. I've got rubber gloves. Like I have a lot of this stuff. I don't, I haven't even cleaned out all of my supplies yet to put them all in here, but I have a lot of this, these dressing things. I also have some little cotton balls. Maybe I should just buy the kit from them because honestly, I have no idea how to, how to sort this inside here so that somebody can just reach in and grab what they want. Like I want all the dressings and all the bandaging stuff put together. All the alcohol wipes, all of that stuff put together. I have medical tape, a little thing of medical tape. I have more rubber gloves and I even have this little, I don't know what this is. I think it's like if you have to tie off something, it's just a rubber thing, but that's good to have. I didn't even know what we, I don't even know all the things that we have. I'm going to teach you guys how to do her pulse. Do you know how to take her pulse? Okay. So a regular horse's heart rate would be 30 to 40 beats per minute. So Gabby, get your phone out. You're going to have to do this for us. So Sylvia, I'm going to show you where to find her pulse. We're going to try it on Chino because she wasn't standing still and he's eating. That's going to be... So finding the pulse I found really difficult there. doesn't like this. Yeah, he's not good at this. You got it? Nope. Well, I think you found it now. Okay. Ah! Uh, see, every time I get his pulse, he's like, let me go! Okay, I'm going back to the baby. Just stand still and let me do it. Like I, like this, once you get it, it's so easy and so cool, but none of our horses will stand still. Mm, I can't do it because she just won't stand still. I can't feel it. She's trying to kick me. <laughs> I'm going to continue on and find another horse. I can't do the horses because they're all eating. <sighs> It's annoying. We've been feeding them inside because it's, it, the weather's so bad. Like, if we can keep them out of the rain and out of the mud and let them choose if they want to go in the rain and the mud, then that's what we're going to do. I can find the horse's pulse. I just can't count it because they move every five seconds. This is something that we uh, talked about there. They use diapers. This is like um abscess poultice pad which I love they it's $8.99 for this little tiny thing like you don't get much of it so I definitely am going to invest in some diapers we use them and they worked out so much better than these pads I have some cloths I have things I don't even know what it is <sighs> Vaseline I have banamine this is almost a full bottle we hardly ever use banamine it's a suture kit? Yeah, I thought we had one. That's what I thought it was too. Like yeah, I even have, I have a suture, another, and it goes, hmm. yeah, I have a suture kit. I have peroxide. I have butte. Can I reorganize? Yeah, I'm still a piece of our organizer. <sighs> but you have to make it make sense. Okay, so this is a poultice for horses, but we bought the wrong one. This one is not medicated. No, so what how to put it on. What would be the purpose of using water a poultice that's not medicated? We have a lot of stuff we don't even know what it is. Literally this dog thinks that she's mine. Like all this time I've had this dog cuddled up to me, following me around, going to bed when I go to bed. But she's not my dog. She's Sam's dog. And I don't want her to be my dog. It sounds mean. I always love her and pay attention to her. And spend time with her. Which is the problem. I need to ignore her. But I can't. Because who could ignore that lovable face? Those adorable eyes. Um, Molly, Ellie doesn't like it. <laughs> I pay attention to her. Ellie, be nice. Alright, so we... Are not going to finish this today, like every other thing that we do. It reduces swelling and stuff. And it reduces swelling. I don't know. Do you think I should put it in our first aid kit? 
Like I want everything to stay yeah. together. Would you put dewormers? Probably not, Where right? Would I put it? No, we have We have like a lot of stuff that seems really good that I bought on the suggestion of other people that we don't use. Oh, do you know what I saw? I love this. Watch. Um, okay, look. Um, my watch went off and like. I saw this on. I saw this on Instagram. How somebody used the horse, the hair that came off their horse, and made it into like another horse silhouette. Mine looks better, and then Ellie well, grabbed it with her teeth and dragged it across the room. Another thing that she suggested was Listerine. I don't know if you guys use this in your barn, but we use this. It's like an antibacterial and it's really good. I think I'm gonna need a bigger container. I just wanna keep all this stuff together so that, oh, you the rip. Yeah. so that I have it everywhere it needs, so I have it all together. I know, I'm gonna, fig I'm gonna get some containers and put them in there. She also says you have to have table salt in there and I have no idea why, but I have a big, huge bucket of salt. Oh, these are the eye drops that we use for our horses. Uh, this is another suture kit. So we have a ton of these measuring tapes. These are the measuring tapes for weight and for height. They are good for height. We can use this for our horse's height. But what she showed us is that um, you can't, that they're totally wrong, like uh, over a hundred pounds wrong sometimes. We tried diff two different ways. Uh, she showed me how to uh, weigh a horse using just a regular measuring tape, like a regular cloth measuring tape that you would get like at Walmart and stuff. So I'm gonna get one of those and I'm gonna show the kids how to measure, weigh our horses properly. I don't wanna leave this down in the barn because I think it's gonna get wet, but I know I need to leave it in the barn, so I'm gonna stick it in a plastic bag and leave it. Anyway, we are off to a good start, you guys. Tell me what you keep in your first aid kit. I know I've talked about it with you guys before, but what do you keep in your first aid kit that we don't have? Like I said, we need to get some uh, duct tape. We need to get some scissors, a flashlight, a stethoscope, a twitch, a bunch of other things um, that they recommend. But that's what we have so far. I'm just glad for the first time ever to have it all in one spot. And it's not even all unpacked yet because like I said, I have a ton of stuff in the trailer that we use for trailering. So lastly, I want to, like I said, when it's like more quiet, uh, more of a quiet time. Right now our horses are eating and they're not cooperating. But I want to make a chart and laminate it and have our normal, like the horse's name and then their normal heart rate, respiration, temperature and keep it posted so that we can tell if something's wrong with our horse. Also, I have a really nice halter that does all of those things too. I'm gonna poke it with a needle and it's gonna turn into a mini honey. So you guys know quilting? Now what's it called? I don't know, but you... I bought, Sophie, this kit where you can make animals out of like cotton or I don't know, whatever it is. So she's gonna take this little mini honey hair up to the house she's gonna wash it it'll be beautiful once it's clean you're gonna wash it i'm gonna wash it and then she's going to use it and make a little a little honey and it matches ruby yeah you're the same color as honey our horses have teamed up it's gracie and honey willow and chino and then penny on her own so we're going to be bringing another horse here Uh, no, it's going to be an even six. And we're going to see where the other horse ends up. Do you guys think Penny will get a partner, a friend, someone to team up with and be close to? I don't think so. I think the other horse, I think, is probably going to end up with Chino and Willow. Or maybe the new horse, the other horse, is going to be on his own and we'll have two on their own because penny is just not the kind of horse that it gets close to other horses she's just an independent independent girl don't you know that you're beautiful